Hey guys, I want to tell you about my trip to Ghana and the experience. So first of all, it starts with the vision. I wanted to go back to Ghana after 10 years. It was a big bang. Like after Buckhead, I thought, well, we could do it on a better scale in Ghana. So let me get the team together. But then I knew that I needed a team on grounds who would um, make the magic work. And with prayers, I decided to say, I mean, for A team, and when I say A team, it's triple A and Z and Y, or A and Z, Y and Z. I had Arnold, I had, we call him Abwaje, but that's George Quay, um, Andy. So the triple A, and then we have um, Zike, who handles all bloggers, and then Prophet Yao. He represents the Y. And um, everybody was game. In fact, when I spoke to them, they were like, we've been waiting. So the plan is put in place. I've got to go early to Ghana for the press conference, which I got there and did a few interviews. It went really well. We went viral. It was crazy, exciting. Then I came back to um, Atlanta for final preparation. Mind you, I've got to focus on church, focus on family, and also focus here. And I keep telling people it's one thing living in Africa and getting stuff done. And it's one thing living abroad in London or in Atlanta and getting stuff done. Well, it was time to finally make that trip. Um, I chose BA because I'm, I don't like Delta. Delta was horrible. Didn't like that first trip. So, um, no, Delta, you guys need to up your game because I was not impressed with that business class treatment. Well, I chose BA, quite a long trip, had to kind of journey all the way to London, <clears throat> but it was worth it, enjoyed it. And then from London to Ghana, gets to Ghana. Picked up from the tarmac straight to the, um, not VIP, CIP, they say. Um, it was a great, great, great trip. I enjoyed it. Then I met Pastor Bolaji. We, we just did and all of that. Then I was picked up by my brother, um, Benjamin. He comes to meet me, picks me up, and protocol is in place. Riders in place, straight home, rest for the day. But then work starts, hard work really starts. Um, on church tours and interviews and some of the interviews we're gonna start from as early as 7 a.m. Like listen, I'm struggling with jet lag and I gotta wake up and 7 a.m. interviews, but I was very committed So I had everything done Now, I was doing interviews at, as early as 7 a.m., 12 p.m., 2, 2 p.m., and then I would have to visit a church, visit a church at around 7 p.m. or midnight, 12 a.m. So we started the midnight church tours and all of that. It was so powerful because I enjoyed having that one-on-one -on -one close encounter of church members, which I don't really get the chance to do. So we visited a lot of churches, throughout the midnight or day, whenever we had the opportunity. And then one of the nights I was just home, just therapeutically walking around and then bang, something goes wrong. I have an accident and it's bad, like very bad. When I had the accident, what rose in my head is the concert. Now, I was not concerned about the accident. I was concerned about what we had financially committed and put in and the team and the hard work 
and right there and there I was thinking do I cancel it or do I not but then I was bleeding so I had to think of what to do so I call my security and we rush to Lister hey big ups to Lister all the doctors were on point we got there they said I needed surgery and everything was extremely um, successful everybody was on the ball and my question and all I kept on asking them is can I wear my shoes for concert or how long will it take me to wear shoes again well it'll take about four months but hey trust me I'm gonna wear my, my Louboutins and Gucci's and all of that back again uh, trust me I will wear it again but the accident was a hey, um, it's lit it's literally uh, oh, well, I don't want to talk too much about it but mom was devastated dad was there but the greatest decision I ever made was to make mom come back from Atlanta Georgia to Ghana so she was right there dad was right there and I had family support the team everybody was supporting and um, guess what I had to learn how to walk, use the crutches so over here you can see that I'm struggling to learn how to use it because this is new this is not what I came in here for I came for the concert do I cancel it or do I go on one of the questions I asked the doctors was am I gonna be able to do the concert and he said oh yes you're gonna be the leg is gonna be fine you're gonna be able to move I know some people are saying I faked it to promote it but think about it <laughs> you you don't want to be in my shoes and I pray for you not to be in those shoes because you won't like it when the doctor said that um, the first thing I did was call the team in America and told them change my shoes because I was gonna wear Louboutins as I usually do i would wear them one time but then I had to change them to get some slip-ons that my foot would be comfortable swiftly it was ordered and we brought it down that's why I still have the Louboutins with me not worn but i had to change to the balenciagas that i wore um, for the concert now um getting to the concert let's move quickly um i had to cancel all church visitations and opted for tv interviews and that's how i did the nama Matt brown i Did Bolo Ray, uh, oh man, Andy Dusty, and I, I enjoyed all of that because it was a bit like stress free not meeting the church folks. But I really wanted to encounter the church guys, like you know, I wanted them to see me. Most of them had never seen me face to face, you know, and um, well, that was um, nipped in the bud. So right after the surgery on Friday morning, dawn, um, well, after the morning-ish, I come back home and Pastor Selena, oh man, mommy, thank you, comes home. Mommy is right home with me. She never went home. She was stuck with me. Daddy, same, the team, um, and, 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 and Pastor Selena comes and I'm learning how to walk on, walk with the, with the crutches. And guess what? The same staircase that I fell off, I told myself, I'm going to walk here and this will not be my place of fear. So this next staircase you see me walking down on, that's where I dropped. Okay, this very staircase you see me trying to walk on because I didn't, I did not want it to traumatize me. I wanted to be in control. So I went back to that defeat and I told it, I'm back right here. You couldn't defeat me again. Um, Sunday morning, I called my pastors, my pastor covenant brothers, Pastor Kojo Amwasari, and my spiritual father, um, Pastor Kinsley PJ, and I said, I'm coming. Now, they were like, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm coming, because this is why I'm here. I'm here to preach, encounter people. And I preached the Sunday morning um, on crutches, standing uh, with one foot up, you know they gave me a stool but i never sat on the stool 
afternoon I rushed down to Trinity Baptist because I couldn't let my spiritual father down and I preached my heart out and I sang until he said get off the stage um, I said dad no he said get off you're not you're f you need to rest the foot well I hurt the foot a little bit but I enjoyed myself sorry dad okay now rehearsal time this is the first time I'm meeting the whole band first rehearsal was at my spiritual son's studio celebrity studios prophet Yao I'm so proud of you. And man, I had missed them from Ivory Coast. We had a blast in Ivory Coast and the band was ready. to Pastor Achi and um, 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 Emmanuel Adama. They said they prepared the band and everybody was ready. I got there and everything was scored 100%. I knew the band was ready. So we actually had fun. We had a great time. <laughs> But I hadn't met Tim Eternity. Tim Eternity was going to be the BGVs for the concert. So uh, we all got at our Trinity Baptist rehearsal started and we had a great fellowship. Now, mind you, whilst this is going on, I'm still doing morning, afternoon, nights, midnights, all nights, just making sure that I let people understand. And the press was also kind of working good. So while I was in Ghana, I had the privilege to meet my childhood idol, Abedi Ayu Pele, the maestro, and that was a dream come true. I also met his little brother Kwame Ayu, man, that was the one of the greatest highlights of my trip. I, 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 hey, uncle, incredible, thank you, you're a good man, and your wife, you whole family and Fifi um, Taki thank you for making this happen for me um, I also uh, made it right on time to attend my uncle's um, funeral lawyer Osei Kweku um, and um, speak on behalf of my family um, uncle rest in peace then one of my highlights was meeting my headmistress my 90 year old headmistress and um, she knows me inside out and uh, she was like, I'm so proud of you, Mrs. Alberta Corte. Thank you. Alcid Academy is the best school in Ghana. Uh, take that for me. Well, um, concert day, sound check. We go to sound check. George Quay didn't sleep. Frankie sound guy didn't sleep. And it was just a beautiful experience. I'll know south sat throughout the rehearsal making sure because I told him be there I need your ears and then my best friend Mr. Bano he flew from London and came to stand by me oh I love this man Kwame Bano Yami Shrao My outfit, Fino, 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 
Fido worked out my outfit really good. And Ellie came Kumochi, so we kind of had to blend the two together because um, I, I, I was specific. I needed Ghana flags in there, but I needed everybody. I needed to be bold but humble kind of thing. And they, they did excellent. So concert starts and bang. The first thing I realized is, listen, the crowd has had turned up for a 4 p.m. Hey, not the only day. Made in Miami soundtrack. So 4 p.m. I'm being told by George. George is putting so much pressure on me. Boss, they are piling up. But so I had to compromise. The crowd was outside, and then I went outside to apologize to them after they had waited three hours. Charlie move and Chemi. You know, we only had one day and concert like this. We need like three days to set up. Move and Chemi next year in Sibium or next time in Sibium. But me the my idea so they waited they waited till the end um of sound check well i didn't finish on my sound check came back home get got ready and then benjamin says let's go protocol he took me well remember i'm slow on crotches the whole team everybody gets ready gathers ourselves hit the state hit the grand arena we got there and the night was like oh dream come true now i told the team that i was going to inject my foot but you see when i went for the wound dressing i didn't tell them that the doctors and i said i'm not going to take no injection so you get to the concert i told shaibu my security man hold the crutches for me and the band now sees me going up on stage without crutches everybody gets confused including my mother and my dad but i did not look at anybody Kudos to Prophet Prempe. He literally came and prayed me up. Like we prayed. He was just holding me, praying for me, like literally getting me ready. I got on stage and when I saw the crowd and I saw the screaming and the stage with God, George, I don't know what everybody had put together. I said, show time. Like I said, yeah, my man was so down and man i was jumping on stage i knew my foot was hurting i knew i was in pain but there was no way i was going to come on that stage with crotches because guess what in the future when the kids are watching i'll have too many questions to answer concert finishes and i just now feel the pain so they passed the crotches back to me because i knew i had to rest a foot crutches passed and i had an interview at the back um, i was so tired and drained but i really respected anybody that wanted to interview me i think that's when the rolex issue came in because what i said was um it cost a lot to put this together anyway that's in the bad um did one last interview with abiku santana oh bless his heart he came out he got the people from the diaspora and my brother thank you help me welcome all of them and remember that oh and we met the gfa president and the ghana black queens oh they did incredible well good luck to the afghans so dr Tin's name came in sorry papa i apologize like i did and um it was time for me to get back on the road but i had to go to through to new york or well, london then to new york then back to atlanta i was preaching early in the morning in new york so i got to london got to new york was picked up and then got ready settled well rested hitting the fire as hard as i can and uh, tuesday night prophetic night laying hands this is my life but i enjoyed the concert thoroughly yes there were injuries and i got injured but the job was done and that's what lions do we are relentless so until next time this was my trip and i enjoyed it i sign out badu is my name